My name is Warren Batchelor, um, and I've directed My Name is Reva. Well, the challenges that we faced making the documentary was we were at the mercy of the victim-offender dialogue process, um, which is a process where the Department of Corrections has put into place for victims to try and have a dialogue with the offender or the family of the victims with the offender um, to see if they can find closure, if they can find peace. And what we did document was especially Reva's parents, Barry and June, their journey through this process. And this process is not an easy process because as much as it's a good thing trying to find peace and get closure, it's very hard in, in that it opens up wounds. It opens up the wounds, you know, this happened 10 years ago. And, and now they have to re revisit this again and go through the emotions all again. So it was a very, very difficult journey. And I was very privileged that Barry and June allowed me into their intimate space. The message that I'd like to send out with this movie is to put a spotlight on the VOD process um, and, and let people decide if it's a good or a bad thing. The second thing would be the victims. I would like to shed a light on the victims. The third thing that Barry and June have always said is that they were doing this, they were participating in, in the series to give a voice to all the voiceless. The other thing is we're giving an alternative version to Oscar's version. Um, and, and I think it's good for the public to have a balanced view to make up their own mind as to what happened that night. What makes this docking different is that it not only gives humanity to the person that was killed, it gives her a life, it, it brings her back to life. People now will know who Reva really was because she was a very special human being. As I said earlier, it gives a alternative version to the version that was presented in court and ultimately accepted by the court. But I've got, I came across a book called Oscar versus the Truth, okay, which was done, written by Thomas and Calvin Mollett. And they reinvestigated the whole, the whole situation and they've come up with an alternative version that what happened, which we present. Again, this is for the viewer to look at both versions, make up their mind. What I'd say to the naysayers and the haters is, what would you do if your daughter was killed? Okay, we're not doing this just for, the, for, for Reva's parents, okay? We are doing this to give a voice because of the, the publicity of this case. We have an opportunity, a golden opportunity to actually give voice to so many women. The parents, are doing this for the right reasons, not the wrong reasons. And what people say on social media is nasty and unnecessary because we are doing this for all the right reasons. Mm -hmm.